Hello everyone, I'm Krasi, and this is second video of this month for the astrological elections for August. The first one I is about, was only about the fixed star Sirius, the dog star or the arrow of the god Ninurta, but I decided to uh, explain um, this election in a, in a separate video as it may become too long. So this is like part two. August is full of beautiful elections for talismans. What are the elections? Just to remind to those of you who are new to my channel, the election means the most appropriate astrological timing for certain events. And the events in, uh, that we are uh, having into consideration are the creations of astrological talismans. What is this? Now, again, a brief overview. The astrological talismans in the ancient world were uh, made mainly in pieces of jewelry and the ancients wouldn't wear, I'm talking about really ancient times like Mesopotamia, Babylon, Egypt, Egypt as well. So the ancients wouldn't wear jewelry without purpose. So their jewelries were always having the purpose of uh, talismans which are which are working as a remedy for someone's horoscope or talismans could be a mean for achieving your goals talisman can be good for improving your luck love life uh, success and health as well and the amulets are the ones that are having protective purposes protective would say against people's envy against evil eye and so on these are the amulets so even the crowns of the kings were consecrated as talismans and they they are always um, meant for protection and achieving power so this was just a brief overview. There is a lot on my channel about talismans and amulets. Also on my um, Astro Magic uh, um, website. So you can uh, read articles and there is a lot of information. So to go back to the elections of month of August, very rich in terms of elections, beautifully. I'm very happy that they are almost one after another because um, every election requires 10 days fasting and now it's uh, like uh, a combination of the election so I do not have to do this all the time. So the first election is of the amulets of the Medusa Gorgon. I will remind you why this is a very rare election too. Rare, not very rare, but it's, it is rare. Once or twice a, a, a year maximum because it is election which is uh, uh, about the star Algo. And this is not a usual star. Algo is not just a star that is rising heliacally and then is becoming invisible and then we're waiting for the star to become visible in, cer in certain period to make the talismans. No, Algo is having very special, it's a binary star, it means double star, and it's having very special nature because it becomes dim very often. So one of the two stars is dim in the other one. And when you catch this moment of invisibility, the star can even work bad, can have very, uh, can have uh, malefic influence therefore it is not enough to have the moon conjoint our goal and to have a good overall picture of the horoscope but we need to watch out the star to be in a good heliacal phase to be visible and to uh, after tomorrow 12th of august the star will be very well placed not only but also visible so then uh, i will share my screen with you in a second to show you the horoscope of the star and to explain you more. But before that, two words for those of you who do not know. What is our goal? You know that in ancient uh, Greek mythology, our goal uh, he was, is and still is representing the Medusa Gorgon. You know, the Medusa Gorgon in the mythological stories of Greece was a beautiful girl, but whoever she would look at, he would turn into stone. And then uh, the Perseus, the soldier of Athena Palace, which is Venus, uh, would decapitate literally the Medusa Gorgon after Athena Palace, Venus advised Perseus, who is very visible on the sky, also projected into the constellation of um, Taurus. So you could see 
uh, this, but what happened is Athena Pallas, Venus said to Perseus, you can do this by using a mirror. Then in the mirror, in, in the mirrored image, you would see her and you'll be able to, to kill her. So Perseus killed the Gorgona, you know, her head with the snakes and brought the head uh, to Venus, to Athena Pallas. And up until now, Athena Pallas is having the protective shield of, made of the head of the Medusa. So therefore, the ancient Greek world would use the image of Medusa as a protective shield up until now. These are the artifacts that people are, that archaeologists are finding. Jewelries with the image of Medusa Gorgon consecrated on sidereal and astronomical timing. So for my uh, amulets, protective amulets, I'm using the same. The image of the Gorgona uh, and also the gemstone of the Gorgona, which is a small diamond. Then I'm using the herbs and, and I'm following ancient consecration ritual. Let me show you the, the horoscope. So you can see this is here the uh, constellation of uh, the, the sign Taurus and the Medusa is in the second sea of gold, is projected on the ecliptic in the second degrees of Taurus and the moon and mid heaven are conjoined. Also, this is uh, the Venus is Amutan and Venus is ruling Taurus. She's the main ruler of the day. And also Venus is well placed in 11th house in own triplicity because she's ruling uh, Libra. And actually this is a very good, um, absolutely not, not even one affliction, even Saturn is making trying. So it looks like a very good uh, election. Actually, Hermes is saying that this star is... Uh, stop, share. So this star is uh, having also the nature of denoting money and wealth. And this is typical for every star in the constellation of Taurus. And let me speak about the second election. I only mention it because it is, uh, I explained this details in my other video. It is serious. The star about uh, the dog star, the star, the heliac rise of which is um, marking the God's new year. But you can look, at, maybe you've seen already my other video. And then we're having the third election. Let me show you this. It is Regulus. See, this is Regulus. It is in the heart of the lion. It is also on the hour of the sun, very important because the sun is ruling the constellation of uh, Leo. Mid heaven conjoined uh, the star and also the sun is there. And also uh, this election in particular is about courage because we are having four royal stars. The first one is Aldebaran, uh, which is about royal power, which is about wealth and love. The second one is uh, Regulus, which is about courage, as it is this one, which is in the heart of the lion. It is about fighting melancholy and depression and really being courageous. Um, also, the third one is Formal Help, which is the, in the constellation of Aquarius, which is about the spiritual guru. And the fourth one is uh, in Scorpio, it is Antares, and it is about the army leader. So we are having now Regulus, the heart of the land, and it is an election which will be on the, I think it was on, 21st of August, 12 o'clock, uh, around 12 o'clock at lunch, my longitude, it, is about, it will be about uh, regulars. And then the third one will be, the last one will be speaker. And what is speaker? You know, speaker 
is considered to have only benevolent influences. The three stars which are beautiful, benevolent, always, without exception, Sirius, Regulus, and Speaker. Speaker was used for talismans forever, since the world exists. It is in the hands, the wheat that the celestial woman Virgo is holding. It is a star which denotes luck, uh, eloquence, um, talents in terms and luck in terms of commerce and uh, business opportunities. And now let me show you the elections of speaker. So you see the moon is applying to speaker. Uh, the, the hour is ruled by Jupiter, so it's benevolent. The mid heaven is exactly conjoined speaker, exactly in the hands of the celestial woman Virgo. Absolutely no afflictions, aspect from Venus and from Jupiter. Uh, actually, it is a star which is supposed to denote um, exactly luck and spirituality because it has the nature of Venus and Mercury. It is very good for journalists, writers, students, because you, it helps the learning process. It's just a very beautiful star. So, like I told you, these are, there are many four elections, which is a lot for one month. Usually this is not the case. And, um, well, I'm following the ancient rules for invoking the spirits of the planet and the, and the stars. And then I'm creating the astrological talismans, which are a combination of herb, uh, essential oil, gemstone absolutely untreated and heated by any by no means most of the stones i'm cutting uh, myself i'm i'm finding the the rock and then i'm bringing it to lapidary and gemologist is cutting pieces uh, and um, working out beautiful uh, cabochons or gemstones and also um, yes, fasting is needed, and of course, um, the ritual, the consecration ritual, which takes place only during the right celestial moment for my longitudes. So, um, I hope this was interesting for you. Links to all my talismans you can find um, under this video on my website. Thank you for your attention.